Fret not, shuttle fans. If orbital sciences gets their way, a new mini space shuttle may be on the horizon. I'm Benjamin Higginbotham, and this is your Space Pod for December 15th, 2010. Now, yesterday we talked a bit about Orbital Science's plan to submit a proposal to NASA under Commercial Crew Development 2. Today we have a bit more information and a picture. According to a press release by Orbital, the company will be seeking funding from NASA for a blended lifting body vehicle, which will launch atop an Atlas V rocket and return to Earth with a conventional runway landing. It looks a lot like a small version of the space shuttle. The idea is that this vehicle could carry three astronauts and one paying tourist to the International Space Station and could have test flights as early as 2014. Now, if the Atlas V rocket doesn't work, fret not. Orbital says that the vehicle would be flexible enough to launch atop other rockets as well. Now imagine finding a lower cost launch vehicle, something for maybe like SpaceX, and the amount of money required to put humans into low Earth orbit might suddenly plummet. Now, speaking of putting humans into space, Russia's gearing up to send three astronauts to the International Space Station, Katie Coleman, Paolo Nispoli, and Dmitry Kondadryov. Lifting off from the Gagarin launch pad today at 1909, quarter universal time, the Expedition 2627 crew will dock with the space station this Friday at 2012 UTC. Tune into Space Vidcast to watch this launch live. And if you've never seen a Russian launch before, they're a lot of fun. One translator for all crew members makes interesting chats of comms. Oh, and unlike here in the U.S., Russia has cameras inside the Soyuz cockpit, so you can watch the crew bounce around as they shake and ascend into space. Now, a bit further out in the cosmos, we have the Voyager 1 spacecraft, which is nearing the edge of our solar system. Now, ponder that for a moment. Humans have created a craft that is now at the very edge of our own solar system. That's nearly 11 billion miles away from our own sun. So far, in fact, that the speed of the solar wind out there basically zero. Fret not, Voyager 1 is still traveling at 10.5 miles per second and for the foreseeable future will remain the most distant object from Earth created by humans. Now someday soon Voyager 1 will reach a planet of robotic life where it will be transformed into a large city. Over time its nameplate will wear off and it will know itself only as V'ger to be later discovered by Captain Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. If you have a Roku box, make sure you install the Space Vidcast channel. In the live section, you can watch as the next Martian rover, Curiosity, is built by NASA. It's pretty cool to see engineers working on something that will be crawling on the surface of another planet in 2012. To get there, just open up the Space Vidcast channel, click on the live feeds, then click on Curiosity Cam. If you don't have a Roku box, here's your chance to win. Tune in to Space Vidcast Live Show this Friday at 0200 hours, coordinated universal time, we will be giving away a free Roku HD unit. This is the only way to win, which is to watch live. For those of you in the US, that's Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'll see you there.